In this video, we're going to be taking a look at AliExpress and seeing what products we can drop ship from AliExpress onto eBay. Hey, what's up everyone? Paul J. Lipsky here from dropshippingtitans.com. And after selling millions of dollars online, a few years ago, I quit my job to do dropshipping full time to travel the country in my RV. And now I'm teaching you guys how to do dropshipping too. So I'm here today in Forest City, Iowa, and we're going to be talking about AliExpress. This is a website that you can use to dropship onto eBay. The items are really, really inexpensive. However, the shipping times are a little bit longer for these products, but that's just one of the trade-offs and customers really don't mind when they are getting the items at such an inexpensive price. But the question is, what products should we be drop shipping from AliExpress onto eBay? And that's what we're going to be covering in this video. So in this video, I'm going to be using a software called Zeek Analytics. This is it right here. And Zeek Analytics is a paid software that helps you do product research when drop shipping onto eBay. I'll show you exactly how I use it for a situation like this. But if you watch this video and you get excited about using AliExpress and you wanna use it, I will have my affiliate link in the description of this video. If you use that link, it doesn't cost you anything extra, but it gives me a small kickback for using my link. But I would not recommend this software were it not for the fact that I use it every single day and love it myself. So this is AliExpress right here. And as you can see that this, if you've never been here before, there are just a huge variety of items on here. Hundreds of thousands of items in all, all categories. So we have women's fashion, men's fashion, see computers, uh, office and security, different things like scanners, 3D printing, wireless routers, consumer electronics like chargers, batteries, cameras, jewelry, toys, so what I encourage you to do the first time you come on this website, just explore around a little bit. Start looking at some of these different categories, clicking on them, just kind of getting a general idea of what products are here. And this isn't, you're not necessarily looking for a product to drop ship. You're just trying to get an idea of, of how this website works because it's a little bit different than other websites you might have drop shipped from other retail websites. Because on AliExpress, the AliExpress itself isn't selling these items. These are sold by third-party merchants, so to speak, that are selling on AliExpress. So if we look here at these, what are these speakers? You'll see that this one right here is sold by 3C Official Store. This one right here is sold by uh, Hanksy Official Store. This one over here is sold by Top Tech. And all of these different suppliers some of them are going to be good, some of them are going to be bad. So I'll show you how to determine which ones are good and which ones are bad. And you can also see right here that it shows you the average review for the item and how many sold. So all these things are going to, are going to be important as we move forward because you don't want to be selling junk items that buyers are just going to get and realize that they're junk and just want to return them. But your first step here should actually be to find someone who's already drop shipping from AliExpress onto eBay. And the way you do that is you literally come in here. What I like to do is go back to AliExpress and you can go to any category. Let's look at home and we'll look at home decor. It's a, literally a random, random category and you wanna click where it says orders. That's gonna show you some of the most popular items. And if an item is really popular, there's a really good chance that at least someone is drop shipping it onto eBay. So I'm just gonna pick a random one here with a very unique title, and you'll see why in a second. Uh, so let's see. Let's try this one. So this one says high quality creative refrigerator, black sticker, butterfly pattern. So I'm gonna copy down that title and I'm just gonna search for it on eBay. All right, so immediately we see a bunch of people selling the same product. 
So what I like to do is look at the pictures on AliExpress and then look at the pictures on eBay. You want them to match up. In addition to that, look at the price here on, on AliExpress. It's 186 to 264. So, you know, there's a there's a range of prices there, but it really depends on which color you, you choose. So if you chose the back black one, it's two dollars and sixty-four cents. And free shipping, right? So the item on eBay needs to have the same photos and be more than two dollars and sixty-four cents. And here you know, we see, let's see these photos. This one is a pretty good bet right here. So I'm just gonna open up this one. And the other thing I look at is how long it will take for the item to be delivered according to eBay. So this says it will arrive between February 7th and February 28th. And the shipping is from outside the USA. So. This is pretty clear to me that this is from AliExpress. The last thing you can check is the description down here. Look at the description and see if it matches pretty closely the one on AliExpress. Yeah, I mean, look at this. It's it's exactly, exactly, where'd it go? The same. So this person is definitely drop shipping from AliExpress onto eBay. So we just found a drop shipper. Now you might be saying, oh great, I'll drop ship this same item. That's not what you wanna do right here because this item hasn't sold yet. You can see right here in this section, it will actually tell you if this item has sold on eBay and this one hasn't yet. So what we're going to do instead is right here where it says seller information, I'm just gonna copy down this person's name and this is where Zeek Analytics shines. So I'm coming over to Zeek Analytics and clearing out this message. And on the left, I'm going to click where it says competitor research. Click on that <clears throat> and enter in the person's name. And I'm going to click search. But before I can click search, you first have to go underneath this video and smash that like button. If you smash that like button, then I can press search. Thank you. All right, so now the Zeke Analytics is doing its magic. And what it's doing is it's looking through this seller's store and seeing what other items have sold. So you can also kind of um, filter out what products you wanna see here. So you do that right here in this section, which is the filter. So you can, what mostly what I'm interested in is that it's sold at least three times. So in the 30 day sale section, I'll put in three to see if it sold at least three times in the past 30 days, click filter. And we do have four items, okay? So I can open up now, let's look. Uh, these are mostly cheap items, but that's okay. It's the same general idea. So this is one right here. This one, as you see now right here, it says it's sold 12 times and I can click on 12 and I see when it sold. So it's sold throughout November and December. It's now January, so it's sold in January as well. <coughs> so this would be one that you could potentially drop ship. Obviously the profit margin, the profit on this is gonna be very low because of the price but I'll just walk you through how to do this because you can do the same thing for more expensive items as well. So what you would then do is come down to the description right here. And there's a few things you can do, few ways I should say that you can then find the item on AliExpress. So what you can first do, I find this works the best is to find a like a chunk of the description and actually search for it. But unfortunately on AliExpress, what you're gonna see a lot is that the descriptions, the actual text is, is very minimal a lot of times. See that? And I think that's the same case with this one. I could try searching for this. It's not a lot of text though. So let's see if, oh, maybe it worked. So I just searched, let me, let me go back, it went too fast. And literally the first result here is a result for AliExpress. So I'm just gonna click on that. 
And yeah, I could tell right away, this is the same item, right? It is the same photo and the price is much cheaper than it is on eBay. Okay, so this would be the item that I would now drop ship from AliExpress onto eBay. Now, there are a few other things that I would look for here. So I would, once I'm on AliExpress, I would make sure for sure that this is the right seller. Like I said, there's different sellers and a lot of sellers will say sell the same exact product. So what I wanna make sure is right here that it, there's actually orders on this because if this person bought 12, we said, right? 12 that they drop shipped and this, this seller hasn't sold any yet, well, then that means that this isn't the right seller. So we'd have to do a little bit more digging around. The other thing I wanna check out is that it has good reviews on this product. So five stars, that looks pretty good. 15 reviews is not a lot, but um, in this case, you know, we see it is selling on, on eBay here. So just things to keep in mind. And the other thing is you wanna see the reviews for this particular seller. And you can see those up here. So this person is 95.7%. That's a little bit lower than I would like. I would like at least 98%, 97%. Um, but this is a very cheap item. So I think I would still list this one up for sale, even though th their feedback is not exactly where I want it to be. The other thing I look at is that they've been open for at least six months, hopefully closer to a year. It's currently early 2020, and this person has been open since 2017. So that looks good as well. So I think this is a winning product. You're not gonna make a huge profit on it, but you see the markup in terms of the percentage is actually quite high, even though the dollar amount you might be making is a little bit lower. The other thing to keep in mind is that there are cashback websites when you actually go to purchase this item. I'll talk more about that in a couple minutes, but let's look at some of these other products now and kind of do this process again. And I'll show you some different ways to find the product on AliExpress. So we have another one here. Let's look at these ones. These look pretty interesting. Um, Happy Song socks. There's socks here with the Mona Lisa on it, with George Washington. Interesting. Okay, so again, we're going to scroll down and look at the description, see if there's something we can search for. But let's say there's not. Let's see, or like this, you can't even copy this is just an image actually so let's say you couldn't actually copy anything well another good choice is if you're using google chrome you find one of these images like this one on ebay you you right click it or if you're on a macbook hold down control and click it and click search google for image and what that's going to do is it's going to search google to see if that image shows up somewhere else now this isn't 100% accurate because this is going to find these socks plus other pictures of socks. But as you see, it does work. Here we are, we have a listing for AliExpress and I can open that up. Now you might've noticed that at the top here is a listing from Amazon. And if I open that one for Amazon, it's the same item right here. And don't be fooled, don't be thinking that this item's coming from Amazon. This is this listing is someone who's drop shipping this item from AliExpress onto Amazon, or maybe they're not drop shipping it. Maybe they bought a whole bunch of them and they're selling them on Amazon. So just be aware of that. Uh, here it is on AliExpress, and I'm pretty confident that this is the right one because the pictures are the same, right? And we also have a lot of orders for this one as well, so that makes sense. But if we return back to Google real quick, you can also see that there's other listings from AliExpress. Let me pop those open real quick. And here's the same exact item again, but this one has fewer orders. It's a different seller. This, this one at the top, you see it's warm store. This one is, um, let's see, no, this is the same product just a different looking page. 
So you'll see this a lot, same seller selling the same product. I always go for the one that has the most orders with the best feedback. And that's this one right here. So again, lots of positive reviews, 4.9 is excellent. I go for, we wanna make sure that has plenty of reviews, lots of orders, and the seller themselves here at the top, 97.9, that's pretty close to 98%, I'm happy with that. And the store has been open since October 18th, 2017. So plenty of time in business. So we're good to go with this product. This is one that you can drop ship. Again, you're not seeing the high dollar amount for these, but the actual markup itself is actually quite large. And this, this is selling as you'll see, as you see right here. So let's see if we can find some other products and then I'll kind of walk you through how to actually get this item onto eBay. Actually, let me do that first. Let me show you how to actually get this item onto eBay and then we'll, we'll look at some more products. So I use a software called AutoDS and AutoDS is designed by eBay dropshippers for eBay dropshippers. And what it does is it allows you to quickly list items from AliExpress onto eBay. So if I come over on the left here where it says uploader, and when you first sign up for AutoDS, you'll have to make sure your settings are correct so that they're fully optimized for AliExpress to eBay drop shipping. But I've already done that. I'm not gonna show you that step. What I'm going to do instead is find this item right here and literally just copy down the URL and paste it into AliExpress, I'm sorry, into AutoDS and I'll choose on the drop down AliExpress and click, I gotta pick my AliExpress template and click grab details. And what this is doing now is it's coming onto AliExpress and pretty much kind of like scraping all the information off of it. It's pulling in all the photos and description and the title. All right, cool. So what it just did here was it took the title here and it pulled it in here. And I would definitely change this title and this title pretty much stinks. So I would change that one. And then it says, it has a photo right here. Now if I click on edit variation, uh, what it did was it pulled in only one of these because that's because I messed up. Um, I was supposed to have it pull in all, all of them, which I didn't have the right setting set up. But normally what it would do is pull in all the socks, every single one, you can actually list all of them at once. But I just, I forgot to check off a certain box. That's okay. Um, and it will actually mark it up in price so that you cover all your fees and you make a profit. So here it's marking it up to $6.67. But here the person selling it for 10, oh, sorry, wrong one. Selling it for, where'd it go? Um, $8.64. So we could actually mark this up even more and make quite a bit more profit. So if you go to 864 or even 850, that's a 50% markup. So you see that's a quite a large markup and that's not something you'll normally see with most suppliers, but you do see that with AliExpress because the items are much more inexpensive on AliExpress than you'll find on other websites. Now scrolling down, what it does is it pulls in what's called item specifics. These are something that eBay requires for all their listings and they encourage you to use as many as you can. So it pulls in a lot of them. You have to select some of them uh, yourself. So this isn't really relevant, but you can select these yourself and then it pulls in the all the photos as well use this one as my main photo. And it makes a really, really nice looking description that you can uh, edit yourself, but for the most part, it's fine. And then all you do is down at the bottom, make sure you select the correct handling time. So here on AliExpress, let's see. Ships to the United States, estimate delivery is February 17th. So that's about a month away. And so I'll select a longer handling time and a longer shipping time. And then you can click save product. And well, I forgot to choose a style up here. Size regular. 
click Save Product, Schedule Post, and boom. Now it will be listed on eBay for me in a matter of seconds, right? So what it's now done is it's linked up the item on AliExpress with my listing on eBay. So if the price changes on AliExpress or the item goes out of stock on AliExpress, that will be changed on eBay for me automatically. So I don't lose money or sell an item that's out of stock. So that's how you do that part. And then once you actually have to order the item, uh, you can do that right here on AliExpress. And what I encourage you to do is see how much cash back you can get. So I like to use givingassistant.org and I'll have a link to them underneath this video. If you use that link, you actually get, I think $5 the first time that you use it. So you, you wanna make sure you use that link. And I'm gonna search for AliExpress. And the way this works is once you sign up for an account, you then search in here for AliExpress, you click here, shop now, and then you'll actually get 7% back just for using AliExpress. So that increases your margins even more. Okay, so now let's go back to eBay to this original page where I searched for this refrigerator stickers. And let's see if we can find another dropshipper and see what types of products they are selling. So this is the one we clicked on originally. And here is another one. Let's try this one right here. Let's open up this guy. And here on the right, I see this person only has 35 feedback, which is not a lot. Generally, if they have a lower feedback, like under 100, under 50, then they're not really, they don't have enough sales to really make it worth it to scan their store and see what they're selling. So I'm not gonna use that person. Let's try this one. This person has 611, so I'm gonna search their store. And I'm gonna do the same thing. Gonna come up here, gonna paste in their name, then I'm going to smash the like button, and then I'm going to click search. And make sure it filters out. And you see, there's a bunch of items here that sold three times in the past month. So this is really exciting. It looks like we hit a good one here. Again, a lot of these items are cheaper. So this is a reflective leather personalized engraved dog collar. And you see it has sold three times. Just like, just like Zeke Analytics said. And I come down here. I don't really like customized products, but that's okay. Again, we're just trying to find a drop shipper. I'm just gonna search for the description. Hmm, nothing's coming up here. Let's try searching for one of the images, I guess. Here's something from AliExpress. Let's, let's open up that one. Oh, boom. Okay, okay, looks, we, looks like we found it. So this is 408 to 472, depending on what color you get, or maybe depending on the size, actually. And here on eBay, it is 968. So it's definitely marked up. And you see this on AliExpress has 1,000 orders, so that's good. 4.9 stars, that's good. 352 reviews, that's plenty. And the store itself has 97.5, which is fine. Uh, been around since 2017, so it's been around for at least definitely six months. So great, we found a product. Um, that we can drop ship ourselves. And again, you would just search for this. Um, sorry, you just plug this into AutoDS. Let me show you it again so I can actually show you how the variations work. So I'm gonna copy the URL, come over here and paste in the URL. I've already selected China. I'm gonna check off this time, upload variations and click the right template I wanna use and click grab details. And while that's loading, guys, I'm going to be making a lot more videos about product research going forward this year. So if you don't wanna miss those videos, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I give out lots of free content here on how to start an eBay dropshipping business. So you don't wanna miss these videos. They're coming out more just like this, more that you can just kind of look over my shoulder and watch while I do research. So be sure to subscribe to the channel 
if you don't want to miss that one. All right, so unfortunately, this product isn't really working for us. We have some sort of um, error code. Looks like AliExpress isn't responding. Um, stuff like this happens sometimes, but obviously, it's it, it, something just happened with this product. I don't know. Um, but you can always, when that happens, you can always try again later to get it to work. Um, but I'm not going to you know, mess around with it right now. So that's the general process on how you do product research from AliExpress onto eBay. I only got to show you a few minutes, but I would keep going with this, go through all the people selling this and check out all their items, try to find some really good ones that have sold multiple times. As you see, this person sold a whole bunch. I would look at all of these and probably use all of them myself. And as you see, the markup is, is quite high. Again, I, I've said it so many times, you're probably sick of me hearing it, but again, the dollar amount might be a little bit lower, but the actual markup itself is high. You make a couple of dollars on each sale, get some cash back with your credit card and with giving assistant, and just do that over and over and over and over again. It really does add up on a volume basis. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And if you want more content like this, let me know in the comment section down below what different suppliers you want me to look at and make videos about like this one, if you enjoyed it. Otherwise, guys, see you in the next video. Bye for now.